Hello, in this series we will show you how to manage an AWF policy using Terraform. So, as you can see, I have a big IP available with one policy, but it's not created by Terraform, it's created by an IAP, it's just that it's here. So, let's start checking what is available in our Terraform uh, directory. So, there are few variables available, the big IP, the username, the password, and we will use an input file to set up those variables. So the first one is the IP and the port to connect to the big IP, and the two other one, the credentials. Our main file will look something like that. So one thing important is the version 1.15, so the latest one at this time and we created the provider so to connect to the big IP using the variables we just set up earlier. And we have a specific resource that it's the big IP WAF policy, uh, and you can see that it will be uh, in the command partition, name scenario one, and we will use the uh, policy template uh, rapid deployment. It's in blocking and with some server technology. So let's start using Terraform init. And now let's do the Terraform plan to see if it's working or not. So you can see the, what will be done by the Terraform plan if we do the apply. It will create a policy. So let's do the apply and check what's going on. So it's creating the apply, and we will see that it in few seconds it will be uh, available in our big IP. So now we can go to our big IP and start refreshing our policy, and we can see that there is a scenario one policy. And in our scenario one policy, we can see that it's in blocking here, and we can see the server technology. So that's good. We created that. Now let's dig a little bit deeper on what we can do uh, using Terraform. So I will just change the main file. I already prepared the, the files and we will check what modification I've done. So the provider, it's still the version 1.15. The variables and to create the provider are the same. But what you can see in the resources, it's I added the MongoDB that was not there before. And we also added some parameters. And those parameters come from these files. So in the parameter files, we created parameter p1 that is in explicit alphanumeric and p2 p3 and so on okay and we decided also to disable some signatures at some point so let's start to do the plan because we have done some modification So he's telling us what he is doing as a modification. Now let's try to do the Terraform apply. And again, let's check on the big IP what's going on. So we created some parameter. So let's see if we see something. Yeah, we see three parameters available. And we see parameters. So different parameters created, okay? It's still finishing, but it's done. And as you can see, the resources are available. So now let's go deeper and try to add more things to our main file. And what I want to add now it's signatures and again we are using signature file and you can see the three different signatures we will modify so let's do the plan again to see 
if there is any issue in our files because sometimes could happen uh, and we can see that the output it will create some signatures with different uh, configuration so in the enabled or perform staging now let's do the terraform apply to modify our policy and let's see on our policy I will just grab that signature and I will be able to go here I will just filter on the signature ID it's in staging it's here it's finished so we have said yes for signature staging it's enabled so that's true let's go and check this one and you can see that this one is enforced because we are out of staging I hope you enjoyed this video more will come in this series.